Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. Everybody, let's go, check out my video, if you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you never miss out on another delicious bite and if you've been in it for a minute i thank you so much for coming on back father god i thank you so much for this day i thank you for this meal that i'm about to receive dear lord i thank you for how you bless my friends family and subscribers father god i thank you so much for how you have continued to bless cooking with tracy I thank you, Father God, that you are healing her. I thank you, Father God, that you are giving her blessed days. I thank you, Father God, that her days have been better where she is feeling better. I thank you, Father God, that she was able to get out and about to the Mardi Gras um, parades and festivals and things that she enjoyed doing. Father God, I thank you for those who stand in the gap with me continually on her behalf. Let's continue to pray for her that she gets better. Father God, I thank you so much for everything, every day. Amen. So you guys, I am back with another mukbang and today I have fried shrimp. I have never done fried shrimp on my channel. So today that's what we're going to do. Let me fix this up. I feel like we're a little bit askew. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, so I have fried shrimp and it is sitting on some noodles and I know you're thinking, what the heck? It's going to be all right. We're here. I'm going to talk to you about it in a minute, but I got to eat. Because it's like 2.30. This is my first bite of the day. I am starving. I like noodles better than pasta. These are the um, no yolks noodles. And that's why I like them. I'll get you a bite in a minute. Hold on. I'll make sure it was good before I give it to you. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna get you a bite. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to get you a like a big, generous, like really pretty bite. Hold on. Let me work on that. Hold on. I'm getting it. Get your little onion on there. All right. There you go. Can you see it? Can you bite? All right. Mm-hmm. That's working. That is working. So, oh, and here I'm just drinking Welch's peach juice. This is not what this was supposed to be, but I'm so glad it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the Margaritaville Boomerang Shrimp. Crispy shrimp with a creamy, spicy garlic tossing sauce. That's what this is. It is spicy. It was supposed to be put over a salad. Y'all know I ain't finna eat no salad for my first meal of the day when I haven't eaten for 20 hours. I want carbs. So, hence the noodles. I could have put it over fettuccine. I don't want to. Fettuccine noodles are actually thicker to me. And they're egg noodles. These are eggless noodles, so they're a little lighter. That's what I had a taste for. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I made this the way the box said, sort of. I added more butter to the little um, creamy garlic butter packet they gave me. Because I knew I was going to want more sauce. I added cream. I didn't say nothing about adding cream, but I wanted it. <laughs> I added garlic and onion and salt. You know, just the things I thought would make it taste better. Make it go further. Make it more saucy. And it did. Mm. It looks cheesy. There's no cheese in here. This is a garlic butter sauce. A creamy garlic butter sauce. Um, it is so good. Since I, you know, perfected it. <laughs> so, that's what this is all about. I added more shrimp around it. The shrimp in the middle. These little shrimp is what it came with. These are what I added. Because I didn't feel like it was going to be enough shrimp. So, I had to add some more. Mm mm. 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 Root. Root, root. Here. Get the shrimp. You got it? Okay. Mm hmm. You can add some red pepper flakes if you want it to be more spicy. I didn't. The spice on this is good. Mm. And this is just something I saw at my local grocery store in the freezer section. It looked good. I decided to pick it up, try it out. I'm so glad I did. I've eaten at Margaritaville before. Actually, twice. Once in Las Vegas. And once in the Caribbean. I have their chicken quesadillas or something like that. And from what I can remember, they were good. So, seeing the name on that box is what made me pick it up. And the fact that it was shrimp. Mm. And it tastes good to me. And there's more sauce left. So. I can definitely have this again. Thank you for watching my video yesterday. Thank you for watching today. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you like it enough to hang out with me. Leave me some comments. So I can talk to you. That's the best part of the channel is getting to talk to you. Well, eating. <laughs> 
and then getting to talk to you. <laughs> Let's just be honest. I love to eat. <laughs> mm. That was a little piece of shrimp like that. That was burnt. I had broke off in my noodles. Not so much burnt that it just got a little crispy. A little extra, extra crispy. Mm -mm. I don't want that. Because these I baked in the oven. And the little ones were fried. Don't ask me why. Mm. I should have been healthy and baked both of them in the oven. I just knew that the little ones were going to get done before the big ones. And I don't want to risk burning them. So how's your day? It is Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I think about that. When I'm off work, I sometimes be like, okay, what day is today? I was off Monday. I worked Tuesday. And so today is Wednesday. Work went well. What little bit of work I managed to do. I had class today, so I wasn't on the floor all day. I was in class half the day. Mm. Wow. So you guys, I know that you all are probably <clears throat> so sick of hearing about coronavirus. I know it, I know it, but I just want to say, I'm going to need for people to start washing their hands. I mean... I'm going to just need for y'all to wash y'all's hands. People that's out there that's just going to the bathroom, rinsing their hands off, drying them up and coming out. I'm going to need for <laughs> y'all to wash y'all's hands. I haven't seen too many people going in and out of the bathroom. I mean, before coronavirus, you just need to wash your hands anyway. Okay? Honestly, it shouldn't even be an issue. It should be a part of you. But, people ain't washing them hands. Spreading your germs all around. I'm also need for people to stop just open mouth coughing into the air. Just coughing. Wherever. Not even trying to cough or sneeze in their Armpit or armpit, elbow, armpit too if you have to, whatever. I'm going to need for people <laughs> to stop just open mouth coughing and sneezing in the air. What is, what's good? And these are not children. These are adults. Like for real? The, the, no wonder we got all kind of mess. People just, they're just not very clean sometimes. As far as like, you know, social manners, don't cough in the air. They're saying coronavirus droplets stay in the air for at least an hour. 
droplets are so tiny you can't see those I don't know I guess that's the end of my rant we just need to do better Now, on camera, it looked like I got a ton of food on my plate. Still. Like, it looks like it's full of noodles. It's really not. Over here, it's empty. It's just sauce. So, it looks like there's still a full plate of noodles. But all of this is sauce. It just looks like there's a lot. So, you guys, I got my Janet ticket. I'm going to see Janet. Yay. I'm going to her Black Diamond tour concert. I'm so excited. Because if you guys watched my last couple of videos, I was talking about trying to get tickets, but tickets in Cleveland were like sold out as far as what my pockets could afford. That was gone. And I only wanted to spend like 200, 250 max. Like I said, I love Janet, but gotta be realistic here. Spending three, four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars on a ticket was just not within my budget. So I was really, really sad when all the two hundred dollar tickets were gone. So as you guys know. I started looking for tickets in surrounding states because I knew she'd be, you know, in other areas. It's a tour. She's going to be everywhere. And they had tickets in PA, but on that weekend, Leslie had to work so she wouldn't be able to go. So we scratched those tickets and said, oh, we can't go. And we start looking for tickets in Detroit. Shout out to Maria from MRTV. She lives there. That's my girl. Coming to see you, sis. So we got tickets for Detroit. We actually bought tickets for Detroit. So I will be seeing Janet in July at Caesars. Is the venue? I'll be going to her, to her um, <clears throat> Black Diamond tour. So, so, so excited. Sheena will not be able to make it. She was supposed to be there. It's supposed to be a girl's trip with the new job and vacation and everything else. It was hard to swing everything. Time off and money-wise and all that was just too much. So, she's not going to go. I'm sad. We wah. That's my ride. That's my ride or die. That's my roly. She's not going. Um. So, then I called my sister to make sure she was still going because initially she said she was, but then I told her it was an overnight trip. So, because it is an overnight trip, she's not going. She babysits her grandson. So, and I guess she could find somebody else to babysit him for that one night, but I don't know. 
I, I didn't ask no question. I'd be respecting people's space, privacy, whatever. Their choices. And her husband just had some surgery. Hopefully by July he'll be fine, but you never know. So, she's not going. So, it's just me and Leslie once again. Like two amigos. And ain't three, it's two. We always manage to figure out our time off work, get it get it arranged, and find people to work for us. And I swear, we both got a little stash that we can go into when we get ready to go somewhere and do something. We got that little stash set aside. We be ready to go. So, Leslie and I are going to see Janet Jackson. I'm so excited. So, Maria... If I don't see you in May, which I would love to see you in May, that's my plan. I was going to talk to you about that. <laughs> Not on social media, <laughs> but our birthdays are in May. Maria from MRTV and my birthday is in May. So, you know, I, I was making, I was going to make me a trip down to Detroit to see my sis for her birthday. Mm, excuse me. So... If I don't get down there in May, I know for sure I'll be down there in July. So, you know, we got to do a mukbang. We got to eat somewhere and do a mukbang and put it up on our channel. That, that's going to be our collab. We are finally going to meet. We're going to make it happen. I will be DMing you on your Instagram. We're going to work it out, sis. So, that's going to be fun. To be able to see Janet, to be able to see my sister Maria, it's going to be a blast. Unless, of course, she's on vacation and she's not home. That'd be sad. <laughs> sad for me, good for her, you know, on vacation. So, we'll see how it goes. And guys, I'm full, as you can tell, because I stopped eating. But I can't eat all those noodles. My eyes were bigger than my stomach, as my mother would say when I was a kid. So... I can't eat all those noodles. But I can eat these two shrimp. I'm going to eat them. I'll tell you that. Anyway, I'm going to bring this video to a close. I thank you so much for stopping by and having this bite with me. I thank you so much for how you support my channel and for the lovely comments that you leave me. It's just amazing. It's just so much fun. And I look forward to it every day. So, um, I think that was it. I thank you for how you're standing in the gap with me for Cooking with Tracy. Continue to do so. It, it is such a wonderful feeling to know that you guys are praying with me for her. But other than that, that's it. I'm going to bring this video to a close. If you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share me out, share me out, share me out, guys. Burp on cue. Excuse me. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites and maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. As always, I believe you're capable of so much more than you know. Just believe in yourself. So, until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.